Hey, how's everybody doing? Hope you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, I wanted to go over the couple times that I got the chance to meet Reggie Fizeme, the ex-president of Nintendo of America. And, you know, I recently saw Reggie make this uh, his new Twitter account, and it kind of just reminded me of the few times that, I, you know, I had the chance to interact with him. And I wanted to share that with you guys because I felt like that would be interesting. The first time I met Reggie was the very first time I was invited to the Nintendo Smash Bros. Invitational. So back when Smash 4 first released, Nintendo was looking to host an Invitational tournament with a demo of the game because the game at the time wasn't released. And this tournament will feature some of the personalities of the Smash community. And I personally felt it would be a good idea, you know, to get to know the Nintendo people there once I, uh, because I was invited to the event. So I tried to talk to as many people as I could, you know, I got to meet uh, Bill Trinan, JC, and, you know, I also got to, for example, get some interactions with Sakurai and all the people in the industry. And I felt that was really interesting. But out of all the people at Nintendo that I didn't get to see uh, until towards the end was actually Reggie. So before the event began, I remember we had to do a lot of different shootings and a lot of different, I guess, like preparation because like it was a really important event for Nintendo and they, they didn't really want anybody to mess up. So we had to do a lot of drills and a lot of practice to make sure our stage uh, appearance was fine, that we knew the rules and things to do and things to not do, you know, so it was a bunch of stuff that we had to like make sure the day of. And I remember that for some of these uh, things that were being briefed, we will sometimes have like industry people on Nintendo like in the back watching and things like that. So I remember like seeing Reggie and Sakurai, for example, having conversations and whatnot. And I remember when I was going behind the scenes uh, at the theater, because the event was happening at the Nokia Theater, there was a room that was like uh, towards the back of the whole area. And it uh, you can see a name for who the room belongs to at the time. And I remember it was something like sakurai shigeru miyamoto and then like reggie it was like it was like the vip room of all vip rooms for sure and i was like whoa look at that room the tournament proceeded as normal there wasn't really much um obviously other than the tournament going on but then at the very end of the tournament they never really told us what will happen if you won the event or what to do or anything like that but one of the things that i guess was the coolest was that after i won the first invitational tournament was that reggie himself came to give me the trophy i was like whoa <laughs> i was like hi reggie he was like oh congratulations for winning that was like really well played and then he gave me the trophy and then you know we took the the picture which uh, i think it becomes i think it's one of the biggest meme pictures that i've ever taken mainly because my expression in this picture is just it's just this, this smile that's like it almost reminds me of the smile of the merchant that sells the mask in Majora's Mask on the 64. Like just this this smile that I had. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I never been able to do that smile after. I don't know if I was a little way too happy or if I was nervous or just a combination of things. But but that picture remains actually my only picture I've ever taken with Reggie. But it is one hell of a picture. I'll tell you that much. The second time I got to meet Reggie because I saw him a couple times throughout the event after that but i never really got the chance to talk to him because reggie um is always like dashing around places he's always like running here running there he's, he's a very busy person especially for e3 events where nintendo has to do a whole lot of media and there's a whole lot of stuff going on it's not an event that they have a lot of time for stuff so i remember that the couple times that i got to see reggie after he uh, uh gave me the trophy it was times where it was like hi how you doing and then like he will have to like go somewhere because i remember i was like in the I was like in the BAP Nintendo area. They had like a, they have like a secret Nintendo area for like industry people. And I remember I was just kind of chilling there with like other people. And then like Reggie will like sometimes like like run across the area or like maybe go somewhere here with like someone. And then I always saw him like talking to like really important people from Nintendo and just doing things like that. So like other than like normal pleasantries, you know, it wasn't anything like too crazy, right? But then um, the next time I got to see Reggie, because this is like after the first invitation, it was actually the second Smash invitation. So for, for E3 2018, I had the chance to uh, obviously participate in the second Invitational for Smash Ultimate. So obviously this is pretty similar to the first Invitational where it's kind of, it's basically an event for a game that's not released yet. So it's like a, like a demo of Ultimate. But one of the cool things that made this event really special was the fact that Smash Ultimate, all things considered, wasn't really a game that anyone had seen before this because at least for Smash 4, you know, the game was available to be played on floor, you know, throughout E3 and then people had like some videos and whatnot. So we kind of knew what the game looked like basically. For like Ultimate, it was a complete mystery what the game was going to be like. 
what characters were going to be there. It was a completely different experience that I just guess it wasn't really ready for. And I remember that when the Nintendo people were giving us the briefing, they were like, you have to keep this under the wraps. This is like really important. This is like crucial for Nintendo and all this. And I was like, oh my God, I was like really stressed. And then the thing that was the most interesting to me was that the fact that after we got to play Ultimate, there were like mad Nintendo people uh, just in the area. Like, for example, there was like Sakura in the back kind of overseeing everything we were doing. So you knew that that event was like a big deal for Nintendo. And then I actually didn't expect to see Reggie at all. But we actually got the chance to stay at a really nice fancy hotel in Los Angeles for the second Invitational. And this hotel was actually the <laughs> was actually the place for a lot of funny stories. So the first one is that when I was going down the elevator, uh, I would just very casually and pretty often just see like really important Nintendo people that like outside of like obviously like they're like working mode at E3, but like kind of maybe like after hours or maybe before hours of E3. Think of it like maybe like a secret special like after hours meeting. But regardless though, so I remember I was going to meet with my friends to go eat some food. And then when I was going down the um, the elevator and I got to the lobby, I remember Reggie was just sitting there, <laughs> just sitting there, kind of like all by, by himself. I remember I was just like casually going down and then I'm just like, hey, Reggie, how's your day going? He's like, hey, I'm doing great. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm doing really good. <laughs> and then I didn't really want to bother him that much after. So I kind of just like let him do his own thing, you know, because <laughs> in my head, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know if I can just I don't know, ask him things because I don't, I don't know if he's like down to talk. You know how like sometimes you meet someone that's like really cool to you, but like you don't really want to, I guess, bother them. Maybe you don't know if they're busy or maybe it's like a bad time or something. So like I don't really get that feeling with like anybody. But like when I talked to Reggie, I got hella nervous. <laughs> I was like, because there was nobody in that lobby. There was like nobody. It was literally just the lobby, me and him. That was it. So I was pretty nervous to like even to say anything. So in my head, I'm like, hi yeah how's it going great awesome dude yeah awesome like, glad to see you here hope you're doing great yeah and then I'm, and then my brain is like zero now you have to melt and just exit this area as soon as possible <laughs> I, remember, I was like wow i felt like i felt, I felt like back in high school <laughs> i don't know that, that that story still remains kind of funny to me simply because i guess i reacted in a way that i don't really react at all so i didn't really expect it but all things considered though it was a pretty meaningful experience to me. I guess what makes this experience even more special is the fact that that was the last E3 uh, that Reggie will show up, you know, as the president of Nintendo of America because Reggie, you know, he currently stepped down from being the president of Nintendo of America. And that was, I guess, his last E3, you know, in that capacity. And I guess that makes it really special, you know, that I guess I got to see him because, you know, who knows when's the next time you'll get to see him, you know, because you know, the man's retired. I don't know if he's going to go to like gaming events or other things like that. So I guess it makes it really special that I got to see him like for one of the last times, maybe possibly the last time I'll ever get to see him myself at the very least, simply because I don't know him like on a personal level. So I was like pretty, I was like pretty happy to get that chance. I was like, oh, wow. I, I guess I really got fortunate and lucky um, to get to go to that E3 and at least, you know, see him a couple times on a personal level though. When, when Reggie retired, I was like really sad because I, I feel like he's like one of the most important things about Nintendo. He was like one of the only few like corporate people that, you know, work such a, you know, important job, but he always felt close to the fans. Like, I felt like he understood like meme culture. He was like, he was always down for jokes and he seemed like a, you know, like a really funny person to interact with. Like, for example, that one time that Hbox, you know, challenged Reggie and Smash and then Reggie said he will kick his ass. I'm going to be able to come back up next time and kick your ass. <laughs> and then they actually had a match <laughs> at, at the Nintendo Championship, you know, and then Reggie roasted Hbox. <laughs> You know, like all of those things, you know, it's like you can't really think of like a company CEO that will do that. So I guess it really adds on to his character that pretty much every interaction I've heard from people and the interactions I've had myself, he's only been but a very pleasant person. So if anything, he'll be missed. But at the same time, you know, I understand taking time off from work. I'm sure he's worked tremendously hard over the years. He's done so much for Nintendo. I'll miss Reggie, but I'm glad I got to meet him at the very least. With that said, I hope you guys enjoy my story. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to uh, hit the bell so you don't miss any of my daily uploads. 
and i'll see you guys around another video all right thanks for watching and i'll see you guys around bye bye